there's one thing that bothers me quite a bit about Notion. I love like pretty much everything about it, but there's one thing that just kind of grinds my gears about the software, and that is that they don't have an API set up or they don't have a public API readily available and usable and on Zapier and integrated with the popular applications. And it just makes it, it, it puts it on an island, you know? Uh, a lot of my other stuff is connected, but I have to manually enter a lot of crap into Notion. Um, and that's one of those little things that bothers me. I'm actually gonna be comparing an application that I stumbled upon recently called StackBy with Notion in today's video. StackBy has an API integration. So what that means is we can pull in different data from, from applications that, that uh, Notion can't connect with yet. So if you hop into my computer, here's what we're working with. On uh, Notion, I have this section here that's basically my to-do list, and this just pulls from my operations section over here where I have my tasks. And in here, basically, it's just a, a, a ton of tasks that I have in here that are related to different projects uh, within Greenline Media. Um, but what I found is th this just really is not conducive for uh, API integrations and things like that. I have a lot of other things in here. I've got like a little bit of a CRM in here. I've got um, tutorials in here and I definitely still use this for tutorials. It's great for using it as like a wiki. Here we are in my uh, StackBy account and this is very simple the way it's set up. Okay, so let me just kind of show you a side-by-side -side comparison. On Notion, this is what my screen looks like essentially and on StackBy, this is what the screen looks like. So I've broken it down into departments. The red section here is my marketing department at my company, you know, the different ways that I get interest, that I get traffic, that I get eyeballs. And then uh, this yellow part is my pipeline, so my sales section of my company. And then this green portion here is basically like the deliverable tracking and the service delivery and all that. So I've put every piece of the business within StackBuy. And I just couldn't do that with certain things in Notion. Let me show you an example, okay? I go to video tracking here for YouTube video tracking. And one of the things that we have integrated here is an API uh, so what I can do is I can just refresh this API and it will pull in the view count. As you can see, I just got a view there on that video. Pull in the view count for that. And that one stayed the same, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we can pull in view count right here. And I'm actually going to rename that so it looks a little cleaner. Apply. So what we have here is like a live idea of some of the data. And you can pull so much more data if you uh, use the other YouTube integration. I'm just using the one right now for YouTube videos. But you can pull a YouTube analytics API as well. And you can connect with anything that you can connect with on Zapier with StackBuy. So that's the beautiful thing about this. You also have these different filter views. I'm going to go to overview. This is where I have pretty much everything, all of the different fields and things like that. In Notion, you can set up like this, but I just feel like this is more straightforward and a lot easier and um, it doesn't have as big of a learning curve. If you go over to filming, you'll see that it just shows our filming stages. This is kind of where I put my new video ideas in. Um, and then I film them and then once they're done I just click on the video and I click editing and it moves it over to the editing section um, And that moves me out of the editing and this is what my editor sees Okay, so he gets his different source files right here so that he can go in and actually start working on these videos when he clicks on these it just opens them up into a uh, Basically a Google Drive where he can uh, download all of these and just start editing them my editor also posts, so I kind of have a checklist for him. Is it educational, entertaining, engaging, keyword research complete, SEO complete, all that stuff. And then once I, uh, if I haven't paid him yet, he just leaves this unticked. And this is just a good idea of has he been paid yet? Yes or no. And then we have this Kanban view and I love the way this looks guys. It just gives you that nice clean overview. You can click into these things and see, um, you know, extra information here. Um, you can see things like notes to the editor. If you have, uh, notes in there, you can see, uh, if it's been paid for what stage it's in, you can simply drag them from stage to stage. And then finally, we also have this calendar view. Um, and this kind of is color coded. So it shows based on what channel I'm on or what channel I want to upload on. And guys, this is just my, um, this is just for YouTube video tracking. Imagine like going into cold email and pipeline and deliverable tracking. This thing just gets so much uh, more complex, but also stays simple at the same time and easy and intuitive to understand. So that being said, I really do enjoy using StackBuy so far. I will still be using Notion for a lot of things, but I just wanted to show you guys this video today to show you kind of the potential of a, of a new player coming into the game. 
So what does Notion win at? Notion still wins at being a wiki and being a note taking software. And for some, it might still win at being a project management software. But Stackby on the other hand has API integration. It's a lot simpler to use. There's a lot more uh, stock column options that you can select from. Now, if you guys wanna try out Stackby, I left a link in the description below and I signed up for their affiliate program and all that. So that will give me a little bit of a kickback if you guys do sign up for Stackby and you do end up using one of their paid plans, but you can try it out for free too. And just, you know, test out their different API integrations. They're creating new ones every single day. And I love the fact that when a company is aggressive about API integrations, cause it just shows that they care so much about their customers. Cause obviously you're not just gonna be in their software. You're gonna use a lot of other software. So when it can integrate with a lot of things, it just makes it so much easier to get along with the software. Before you go, comment below, let me know, have you used Stackby yet? Just say, yes, I've used Stackby, or no, I haven't used Stackby. And also before you leave this video, please drop a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.